You've heard the phrase epigenetics. It's a new phrase. We're tossing it around this conference for the first time. We're excited to be talking about it. Um, and really, even with epigenetics, it's really the gene expression. And uh, we believe that the cost uh, to obtain through saliva, uh, we can get the data and, and be able to provide carriers in uh, a very short time uh, period the types of information uh, that allows them to underwrite to, say, 100% of protected value. So that's what we're focused on, and we think insure tech uh, technology, particularly around epigenetics, offers that promise. Epigenetics is a really interesting science in that it really has more to do with the behavioral attributes of the consumer or the applicant of, ins of life insurance, and it allows us to underwrite to really factors that are currently being under consideration today. But we're able to do that and pick it up basically at a, at a molecular level as opposed to health records or uh, blood or urine or, or more general uh, tissue collection uh, opportunities. So how are we going to do that? What's the most efficient way to, to, to obtain it? What's the most cost-effective way to do that? And again, I'll, I'll, I'll drive back to, I think, what we think our business opportunity is, is to deliver something that the industry is calling for. Uh, you know, the cost of, of, of processing continues to fall. I mean, this science is relatively new. Couldn't have been talking about this three, four years ago. In fact, it didn't exist. Um, so the fact that we're here today, we're talking about it, I think it's real, it's viable, um, and it will deliver some of this confirmatory, there's no silver bullet. Um, and so if you can aggregate these things in a way that's effective, quick and efficient, that makes the process as painless as it can for distribution, you know, you've got a winning uh, formula for the industry to move forward, and, and that's what we want to be part of. Uh, is based off of predictive uh, epigenetic biomarkers that have been proved to be linked uh, specifically to all-cause mortality. And we've translated those into the actuarial uh, tables and methodology. So it's, 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 it's far, far more advanced uh, than, than you know, sitting here today or you, you might have thought uh, several years ago. So um, that's what it says. We as entrepreneurs and, and the application of technology should be focused on it and I think do hold real promise, ultimately, you know, the opportunity to reduce the overall cost, if you will, of issuance, I think really will uh, serve to uh, make the products, as, as Byron's saying, much more available, maybe even drive costs down to even consumers who may or should pay more based upon their overall profile, but because of the efficiency gains, uh, the products uh, improve. I'm not sure how collecting uh, saliva is any more invasive than me sitting on my own couch doing an EKG for a very low face amount policy. So, <laughs> but I'd love to hear your thoughts on well, that. Well, I mean, I think, I think I, there's a lot of talk about it, but I mean, you know, too, the consumers love the information. I mean, you know, there's plenty of people in this audience who have either subscribed to Ancestry.com, 23andMe, Telo-Years. I mean, you know, the consumer, I think we all um, uh, are, are, are we, we try to protect the consumer uh, too much and, and giving them more information, being more transparent, I think only leads to uh, more informed decisions and engagement with, with the clients who are trying to do business with.